different. Just Hello and welcome to Cinema Spectator, a show where an expert and a casual movie fan watch movies in the cinematic canon. Today's film is not a film. We're talking about Isaac's worst film experiences from the past 51 movies that we watched. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think there's a lot to go over in terms of, um, you know, w- w- what happens when there's a movie that everybody talks about, that everybody knows, that everybody, you know, uh, says you should watch uh, and then you watch it and you say, uh, ah, that wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we've all had that experience. Um, I've, I certainly have, and we'll talk about it with the first movie, I guess, um, because it, that was the one for me that I was, you know, constantly over and over again, breathless, spoiler alert, you know, um, it constantly over and over again told like, oh, breathless is so good. It's so innovative, blah, blah, blah. And every time I watched it, I came away with the same feeling of, eh, it's not very good. <laughs> um so, you know, we'll, I think we'll have, I, I don't know, looking at these films that I, that I've showed you, Isaac, um, I don't feel like I've showed you too many that are like way out there that are super difficult. I think probably like Monica Mana is like the worst offender of this, but, um, for the most part, you know, we've, we've kind of stayed away from the experimental stuff so far because i'm trying to kind of get you into film and not like uh, uh <laughs> not like uh totally close you off and make you hate movies forever um so <laughs> uh i think there's you know there's a lot of um obviously in the future we'll probably go into more esoteric more experimental more strange things but for now i mean looking back on it we we've we've actually covered a lot of bangers you know oh, just... oh yeah <laughs> yeah there's really no debate i think you've been an extremely generous host cameron uh, <laughs> for my initial journey a lot of these movies that are on this list like i i don't know if we'll call this episode like isaac's worst or least favorite movies in the top 51 really i think the conversation is around the experiment of the show like how did these films disconnect someone that is sort, sort of more of a casual, casual viewer, right? right? Maybe, Maybe there, there is a ladder to climb when you're learning about film or, or watching film, and there isn't a a way that some of these movies can be made where they're still catering to everyone, right? And there's a, a whole conversation to be had about art, and maybe not all art is for everyone, you know? I think this is... it's. It's, it's an, an interesting conversation because some of these these, these filmmakers, filmmakers are out, out to make masterpieces, masterpieces that are almost meant to be in the museum of film, film whereas it is a medium that's for entertainment, entertainment and that, that creates some tension between um, the viewer and you know the product itself. Um, these films that I, that I want to talk about are all very different, uh, uh, and, I'm and I'm not even overtly offended by some of them, except a few I will. I think, I think come, come for, for um, <laughs> specifically, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I, I want to have, have a little, little bit more of an open ended conversation, conversation now that we have watched fifty one movies this 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 year. year. Um, really, really talk, talk about like, like are some, some of the approaches to making these movies like not not necessarily like unforgivable, unforgivable but so, so devoid, devoid of like. like I guess, I guess the, the regular, regular viewers' time. I, I, like, 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 does that sort of make sense, sense Cameron? What I'm saying, like, they're, they're just, just they're, they're, they're almost. almost uh, I, don't I don't know, like, like offensively, offensively uh, just ignoring the needs, the needs of the viewer, viewer uh, in, in some, some in some ways. ways. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I I see what you're saying, although I I personally disagree with that in terms of. I don't think there is a responsibility on the filmmaker um, necessarily to to sort of cater to a certain viewer. And actually, I think that that's what oftentimes when that happens, um, it, you know, it either caters to sort of the lowest common denominator or it caters to um, 
you know, maybe a, an image or a picture of what you what you could be instead of um, really exploring certain things. So and I, I think, you know, uh, of course, you know, you as a viewer can say like, well, I didn't like that because that wasn't for me. Um, but at the same time, you know, the filmmaker doesn't necessarily have a duty or a, a responsibility to um to make things directly for you and not every movie has to be for you. So I, I, yeah. Yeah. you know, like that, that's kind of my, my take on it. Like I understand what you're saying, but um, at the same time, you know, some, some movies are trying to explore different things. Uh, I would I, like, I think that's okay too. I would, I would like, like to start with a perfect example, example to, sort to sort of, of it may be sort of like an allegory, a comparison to this, 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 this situation. Uh, I thought of this, um, this, week this week when I was at work, work talking to my coworkers, coworkers now, for some, for some of you, you, you don't know, I, I work for a church, church. I do a lot of music stuff, we play a lot of music on stage, and there's always opinions about the way that you're supposed to perform live, and Cameron, you know, you have experience playing live as well, uh, there is a tension between the musician's needs on the stage and the, the experience, experience of the crowd. crowd. And, and a, a good, good example, example for guitarists is, you know, the volume and the placement of their amplifier. Now, now if you play, play guitar, guitar, you know that the most exciting way as a musician to play guitar is to have the, the most powerful, loud, amp and cab behind you pushing air to feel the response, the ability to let the guitar's pickups feedback with the speaker, you know, to have that experience. But as you begin to play more live shows in certain gigs, right, uh, there is a desire for the front of house engineer who's mixing the room and for the audience to get the best sound possible. And sometimes that amplifier being blown out super loud uh, in a small stage or on a small room begins to deter the experience of the audience and it begins to throw off the sound. And so, and so then, then it becomes, becomes this argument ar uh, amongst guitarists of, well, I want to have my amp loud, and I want to feel it, and I want to have that experience, the correct experience. It makes me play better, right? It, it, it creates this, this, uh, this feeling that is beyond just creating sound. Like, there's, there's an interaction between the guitarist and his gear. Um versus, you know, blowing out the ears of the audience. They can't hear anything else but the guitar. The entire room is mixed strangely, and their their experience is, is you know, worsened. So what I'm trying to get at here is when you're performing live on stage, you're either performing for the audience or for yourself or somewhere in between, right? And this, like... I, I'm always for the audience first. As a matter of fact, I gave up bringing an amplifier uh, to play through a digital amp modeler, which is a little pedal that simulates the sound of an amp that creates no noise except for through the front of house speakers. So the, the, the mixer has a responsibility to put my guitar where he thinks fits for the audience's experience. And... Like, like I, obviously, obviously, some of it is for church music, right? So for me, it's like, well, I'm here to, you know, serve the people's needs for them being able to come and sing, not not my own. But I know some guitarists that will be like, I will not play on that stage if I cannot have my amp behind my legs, you know? Like, I want to feel the air. Cameron, you know, it, it, there's there's something about it. Like, you used to play with what? Like a, a full stack and an amp head and behind you, right? Yeah, I did. But that was for, like, outdoor gigs, Um so it, it was a little different just because uh, it was necessary, you know, like there was no it was me and I wasn't mic'd up or anything, you know, it was so I had I had to play to the to the theater. So, um, you know, I, like, yeah, no, I, I I know what you mean. Um, yeah, so, so uh, it, it, it becomes a conversation of you're going to play music live. You're going to create, create experience, this experience. Right. right? And. Are you, are you serving, serving the needs of the audience, audience or are you serving the needs of your own musicianship and performance, right? right? And, there and there are people that would rather watch you live up to your fullest, like, musical performance and experience over their own, right? right? Like, like, there is that, that, that crowd that's like, like I, would, I want to see the guy, you know, blasting his amp as loud as possible and get something that's very different than 
you know, you know my, my experience. I want to see, see them vibe out as much as possible on stage versus, versus like my experience in the audience, in the audience right? right? Um, but, but personally, personally when, when it comes to live music, music and I would say the same thing for my experience being, being you know, a viewer of, of, of movies, movies is it's like, I want, I want the musician, the musician to cater to, to my experience, right? right? I paid to be here, right? I paid to come to this concert, concert or I showed up to come to this concert and watch you perform. perform. Like, like, don't be there for yourself. yourself. Like, you're, you're trying, trying to put, put on something for me, you know? You know? I'm, I, came I came all this way out to support you. you. So, maybe so maybe it's a selfish, selfish perspective as an audience member, but when I'm up on stage playing... My, my first desire is to make sure, to make sure that those me- those needs, needs are met for the people. Now, now does, that does that mean that I don't, I, like, I, like I'm, I'm not as creative in certain, in certain sections, sections, or I don't like fall in to more, more like musical experimentation, experimentation in the moment, right? right? Because, because I'm so focused on their, their experience. Their experience. Probably, Probably, right? I do, I do give, give up some freedom in order to meet their needs. And... That can, that can result, result in, like, worse, worse musicianship, but I think the same concept applies to films where it's, like, if you're just there to meet the needs of your own, like, you know, your <laughs> your own artist project or whatever, like, like to, to, to have your own performance moment, there's, there's a lot of my personality that's, like, it's... Like, it's, it's I'm not, I'm not really, really going to sit there and apologize, apologize for you. Like, like it's, it's just you you, you only cared about your own thing. thing. So, so that's, 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 that's kind of the perspective I'm coming from, from and hopefully, hopefully that comparison wasn't too long, too long but I think it kind of paints a picture of where I approach watching movies. And, and also, like, like as a, as a, from, from, a, from the perspective of someone who's creative, it's like, there, there's, there's a balance in, in, that, in, that, in that space. space. Cameron, do you, what, do you, what do you think of that analogy? Like, do you think it's a flawed perspective or do you think it's a different perspective? How are you feeling? Well, I think, I mean... The the thing about it is like, I th- I think you're right in some sense, um, but then at the same time, obviously when you go to like a Metallica concert, you want it to be loud, you want it to be boisterous, you want it to be, and you can have both. You can right. have it sound really good and have them sort of be be creative and take risks and you know and and there's a virtuosity in their you know in their performance because they've been doing it for so long and you know and so i think there's i i you know i think like the irishman is a, actually a good example of this where there's i don't think the irishman is is a movie about um, or that's like catering to, to to a normal audience. It's like three hours long and it's really slow. And, you know, there's it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that movie is trying to sort of coddle you. Um, but at the same time, you can't help but recognize the the virtuosity. Um, but I, I, I agree in that there are plenty of movies that try to be um, really, you know, artistic or out there um, and just just don't work you know and and part of it probably comes from um you know maybe inexperience uh or it comes from a sense of um i guess just you know um not really you know caring about your your audience's time or you know something like that i don't know um but i i i see where you're coming from but i think there's the there's a chance where you can you can have both ways you know it's not always attention i agree i, agree. Um, I think i think it's, it's the, the um and, and i we, we need to get off this music analogy, analogy but i just thought, thought it was a a fair, a fair comparison, comparison like, like you need, you need to, be to be aware of your stage, stage size, size right, right? Like, like if if, if, if you're, you're on a massive stadium, stadium stage, stage like yeah you can play as loud as you you want to play right but like, like if, if you're, you're in a small, small like, like dive, dive bar and they have like barely a corner stage, stage right? right? You don't, you don't need, need a full stack, stack uh, blowing, blowing out the room, so you, so you can barely hear the drums. The drums. Uh, uh, I, I, I think, I think that, that the comparison really, really does summarize, summarize like how I feel about watching, watching some, some of these movies because as an audience member, I'm not, I'm not willing. willing. There, 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 there is, is a little bit of a selfishness where it's like, why? Would, would I, I give you the benefit of the doubt, doubt right? I think, I think talking, talking to you and, and, and Juzo, who's very knowledgeable, one of our one of our members, 
on, on Patreon, Patreon, like, you guys, you guys have, have a desire, desire and a hunger to experience, like, films, films that are different and, and like, really, really, you know, put, put yourselves through, through a wild audience, audience experience, right? right? Just, just like, like personally, personally I'm, I'm like, like I, I don't have time, time for that. You know, like I don't, I don't care to do that. I don't even care, care to do that, that for yeah. con. Like I am one of the snobbiest concert goers, and, it, and it, it's, it's just, just like, like I don't, I'm not, I'm not sympathetic to the concert. Like if there's any bad vibes or any energy, it's like I wasted my time to come out here to see people that I want to see, and they're either gonna deliver or they're not. Like one of my, one of my biggest complaints about concerts is just the people around. The concert, the concert scene, scene drives, drives me nuts. nuts. Like, like I've, I've always, always any, any concert, concert that I've been to, there's, there's always, always been people around me that just ruin it, and I'm like, I hate this, you know. Like I just, just want to see by the artist perform, you know. Perform, you know? And, that's uh, and that's not on the artist, artist right? right? Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, like the, the audience, audience experience for me. That's like Tarantino fans ruining Tarantino. Yeah, exactly, right? Like that's that's like you going to see. I mean, I mean here, here's, here's a great example. example. Like, let's, let's say you appreciate a modern pop artist or something, or something like that. Like, you're a big fan of Billie Eilish's Billie new record. You're like, wow, this is so unique. unique. You know, she's really doing something. something. You go out to her concert, and there's, there's just a bunch of toxic, obnoxious fans, fans out there you know, being all strange. And you're like, I can't even, I can't even enjoy this. You know, like, I don't even, I don't even know how to approach it. So, yeah, I think, I think there's, there's a lot of factors in. In, in, in watching, watching these movies, but I think it's time to time to time to dive in. We'll go from the order, the order of us starting the show and and, and move through there. there. The, first the first film that we, that we watched on the podcast, podcast is Breathless. We reference it a lot, Cameron. I think this is a great choice that you that you made us experience this first. Uh, I put a little note on on what disconnected me from this movie. It feels very spastic, a little bit confusing. Obviously, it's a foreign film. It's French, right? So I'd never. Really, really watch any sort of movie like this. This, this, this being, being episode, episode one, one. Um, there, there, there's, there's a little bit of like a like a, like a gorilla filmmaking style to it. To it. Um, there, there, there's so, so much chaotic decision in in, in, the in the creation of the movie, of the movie. and I think. You, you you mentioned that, that that's a lot of the movie's charm, but as someone who has basically no, I had, I had no experience, experience watching this movie um, for, for the episode one. one. It, I was just like, "What is going on? Like, like this, this is just too much." much. My my uh, kind of perspective on the movie is more positive though, because I remember just being confused and sort of. Um, th there's a joy with the movie, right? right? There is definitely. Um, Something, something about, about it that, that is, it feels <laughs> incomplete and almost adds to a comedic assembly. Um, and so, so like, like when I think back on this movie, movie although it's a wild hurricane of, of, of problems, I don't think it's, think it's it is super approachable. approachable. Um, you, you can, can at least sit there and be like, wow, I don't have no, I have no idea what's going on. And it's kind of, you know, an experience, right? What, like Cameron, what was your thoughts in, in, in showing breathless and, and, and um, um, how, do you, how do you feel about, about the, uh, like, like the casual, casual audience uh, experience for this, for, this, for this film? Yeah, I mean, the reason why I chose Breathless to, to start off the podcast was because it was that was the movie for me that I everybody told me like, oh, yeah, this is like so great. And I could not understand why um, I had no and I still don't really um because I don't feel like I've ever connected with Breathless in a way that makes me um, appreciate it almost. And and part partly that it could be me like uh, uh, I don't know. I think I think Godard has like a um, a certain aesthetic that he likes that either you click with or you don't. Um, and it just, I don't click with it. You know, there's, there's just something about it that, that does not appeal to me. Um, and I've known, you know, th this is the weird thing because Breathless is a movie that I agree is not very approachable, but I've talked to people who are like, not, they're not like ultra casual, you know, they're not like, uh, you know, oh, I've, I've only seen Marvel movies or whatever, you know, they're not like super casual, but they're not like cinephiles or anything they're not like uh you know the most hardcore and they've you know the people who i've some of these people who i've talked to love breathless 
And I'm like, how? Like, why? <laughs> like, what? And it and it's just I think it's just a feeling thing um, with that movie. And if you if you feel the the, the energy, if you feel the vibe um, and you get on the same wavelength, like I think some people can connect with that. And for me, that's just not it. You know, that's not <laughs> that's not what I well, I'm not on that wavelength. Um and so I, I wanted to show that movie to you because um, I was interested in seeing uh, sort of a, a true casuals perspective on um, a movie that I've been told over and over again was so important, is so influential in the way that and, – and to be fair, it is influential. And I think we see a lot of Breathless in some of the other movies that we've watched, you know. And it's funny how, how many times I've said, oh, it reminds me of Breathless, you know what I mean, <laughs> throughout this podcast. I've, I, there are definitely movies that, um, that either take – slightly from breathless or or sort of um you know have it have a, a you know references to it i mean they're they're it's definitely influential um but i wanted to get your your raw perspective on how um like h- how a casual viewer would um would see this weird movie from france from 1960 you know um yeah. that is often considered you know one of the greatest movies of all time and whatever else you know i think like, I, my, my initial thoughts on it was like what a trash fire, fire you know like, like i was like, like this movie is just <laughs> A total, total mess. mess and, and as, as time, time has gone, gone on i'm like oh, oh yeah, yeah i mean that's, that's a trash fire, fire. like, like a, much a much more positive like uh feeling, feeling about it less less, less, less like you disgusting, disgusting more like, like yeah, yeah, like it's, it's out, out there. there. It's, it's crazy. crazy. Not, Not for me. me. I, did, I, like, I like I don't relate. relate. I, I felt no emotion watching the movie. I know. It's yeah. just it's just, just crazy. crazy. It's just a crazy movie. movie. Um, uh, there's, there's there's a few, there's a few things, things that stick with me from it. it. Uh, in particular, the scene with the wheelchair. I remember there's stuff happening with a wheelchair. Do you remember that? Yeah. And then the the whole like strangely cut up scene where he like. Doesn't, Doesn't he, he like, like jack, jack a car, car or something like that? Like, like I don't even know what's, what's happening, happening at the beginning, beginning of it. Yeah, he steals a car and shoots a cop. Yeah, yeah I, just I just remember being very, very, very confused about by, by what was even going on. So, so. Uh, honestly, honestly, like, like this, this kind, kind of movie that is, that is unapproachable still has a forgivable draw for me, for me because, because as an audience member, sometimes, sometimes confusion can be funny. funny. And, and to me, it's, it's like, like maybe watching, like, I don't, I don't know, know, a stadium live performance of like Tenacious D, where you're like, I don't even know, like, what, what is happening. happening. Uh, this is such a strange mix of, of, of things. Uh, uh, but it's, it's kind, kind of, of kind, kind of there, there you know, you know? <laughs> like there's, there's something, something, you know. Um, so, so I don't know. It's, it's I, I, I think the, the, the hard, hard thing is that. For, for like, like as, as we're talking about, about what disconnects, disconnects the, the, the casual viewer, viewer. Like, like to me this is, this is a like a, like a wild spastic, spastic like, like just, just I don't, I don't even know, know. I, don't I don't even know, know what's going on with this film, film. Uh, uh, but, but I think, I think that, that emotion is is more forgivable than, than some, some of some of the other things we're going to talk about that disconnects a viewer. The next movie I have on here is Citizen Kane. Now this one I just wanted to. Mention, mention not, because not because I really have any sort of negativity towards it. it. This, this is a movie that people talk about a lot, and I watched it, and I barely, barely remember anything from it. From it. Uh, I, saw I saw it on the list, and I was just like, like I don't know if, if there's, there's anything, anything I could tell you that I remember from this film, from this film which, which is shocking because uh, the, the, some, some of the movies on this list I remember a lot of things about, and I really didn't like the movies, right? Um, so this, this kind of lands into a, an experience of like boredom that I want to explore, like as a disconnect for the casual audience. I, I don't think that Citizen Kane is unapproachable. I remember thinking, okay, like that was that was something, you know, I can, I, I mean, there was a storyline and something about a, a guy dying in a mansion or... You know, you know I, I, I really don't, don't, I don't, I don't remember, remember very much else besides there was, there was a newsroom and a, and a guy dying in a mansion. mansion. Um, um, 
but but it, it kind of dragged in a way, in a way that, that I was like, like this, this is, is an old movie, movie and I'm, I'm so happy, so happy to say that Cameron has proven to me that old movies are are, are not all like, like that, that. You know, you know? Uh, <laughs> they're, they're not um, just, just this slow, slow yeah, 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 you know, lots, lots of talking, talking lots of, of you know, it feels, it feels like, like nothing's going, going on, on, kind of. Um, so, so I'm sorry, sorry if like Citizen Kane is, is your favorite film. film. I'm just I'm shocked, shocked that I watched it and I can't tell you really anything about this movie looking at it because... Um, they're, 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 it's, it's just, it's been surprising how many black and white films have resonated and stuck in my brain. Uh, mm. and this, this one is one that people mention all the time and it just has, it doesn't have that for me. Um, what, what, what do you think well, of Citizen Kane, Cameron? Am I like super off? Am I, is this just No, the, no, I, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. Um, I think Citizen Kane was a movie that I saw originally that I kind of had meh feelings about. Um, not bad. I mean, like, you know, it's it's literally Citizen Kane. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, but uh, it's a movie that actually, as time has gone on, as I've watched it again, um, you know, I think when we watched it for the show, I, I had probably seen it three or four times at that point. Um, and it, it's a movie that actually the more I think about, the more I like and the more mm-hmm. I'm interested in. Um, I'm not sure what that is. And I think that is an experience that a lot of movies have where you watch it the first time, you kind of don't care about it or you you have a meh feeling about it. Um, and then you watch it again and it and it maybe it sticks with you more. And then, you know, you watch it again. And I think actually The Godfather is one of those two where there's I think it's like almost the, there's a density to it. Um, Mm -hmm. where not that you don't pick up on everything right away, but that there's, there's so much happening that the feeling aspect of it doesn't get to you the, cause you're still trying to go over the, you know, the, like the plot and the themes and whatever else in your, in your head. And then if you watch it again, all of a sudden you say like, oh, I feel this now. Like I, I actually, I actually understand and uh, like this more than I, than I did the first time. Um, That's what I think happened to me with Citizen Kane. And I'd be interested in sort of, I don't know, I, uh, not necessarily revisiting it right now, but I think there's, there's some, some movies that you don't get right away um, that, you can come back to it and get more and more until until you have that like aha moment yeah. Yeah. with it. Um and and I don't think that's a negative on the movie either. Um I always consider that like me being not ready for it or not you know sometimes it's I don't know maybe not knowledgeable enough about it or you know there there's a certain not that it's my it's necessarily my responsibility but there's there's a certain you know element of um me not being prepared for a movie that that uh could actually be Im- important and impactful but I'm just not there yet you know what i mean like and and there's uh, there's movies a lot of times where you watch and you kind of are having an off day and you're tired or whatever, you know, and so there's a there's a there's a disconnect there because of your personal viewing habit or whatever, you know, your personal feeling when you when you watch the movie. Um, and and I think, you know, there's room for you to be uh, uh, me as a as a, you know, someone who loves this. There's room for me to say I didn't get that at first, um, but maybe, you know, in the future, like I understand that like a lot of people love this movie. So I'll give it another go. I'll give it a chance, you know, and then a lot of times that will help me sort of um, reevaluate my own position about it. But yeah. Well, well put. put. I think, I think maybe, maybe this will, will be a movie we have to revisit because, because I, don't I don't remember really disliking it. it. I just don't, don't remember anything about it. About it. Um, um, but, you're but you're right. right. I, think I think this film, talking, talking about its density, density and, like, and like the world and, and, and really just getting great with that. Same with The Godfather, Godfather as you were mentioning. I'm, I'm, sh- I'm almost positive the second viewing of The Godfather will probably be better for me. 
Uh, the, next the next film, film I have on here is Gone with the Wind. The Wind. Again, Again, another, another famous, famous movie that is long. long. This, this suffers from the boredom, from the boredom thing, thing that I was talking about as well. I think the movie has a lot of great acting, acting and character flair, but, but it is just so uninteresting, uninteresting to me. <laughs> and and <laughs> I, can't, I can't even like, I have, I have no, no desire to rewatch re this movie. movie. This, this movie, movie was brutal, brutal to get, to get through, through for me. It it was, yeah. It I mean, it's a long movie. It's such a long movie. <laughs> so I don't really know what the draw for this film is. I don't, I don't even hear a lot of people talking, talking about this movie as part of the, like, 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 like as, as a cinematic masterpiece. It seems like it hit for its time, time you, know? you know? Like, like it was like... like it was, it was a massive, massive event. event. It, was it was the Marvel, Marvel movie event, event for its its, its time, time in history. history. And, and yeah, and that's, that's why, why like, like my parents were so excited, excited that I was watching it. I was like, boy, you guys haven't watched this in a while because it's it's, it's bad. bad. Like it's, it's just, just it's, it's just not not, not it. You know. So I don't really want to keep talking about that movie. Do you have any thoughts about it, Cameron? No, other than it's so long and like you said, like there's so much that. I, I think that movie, um, there's a lot that is so good in it, but is it's really boring. <laughs> it's yeah. really boring. Um, yeah, and I there's I don't know why I I it just is one that I I could care less about. Like that is, it's it's a movie that, um. It could not grip me for the life of of it. And yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Um, but then, you know, thinking about it, I, I do feel like it's almost the opposite of Citizen Kane, where there were moments that I felt more than I than I expected. You know, there were moments that I really actually w was invested in the characters and invested in sort of um, the, you know, the relationships. but. Um, for the most part, it was just long and boring, and and not and not dense like Citizen Kane. It's just elongated in a lot of ways. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's let we can move on. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I, uh, I, keep I keep thinking about this concert performance thing. thing. I'm, I'm like, what would gone, gone with the wind be if it was like a performance? performance. And, I and I feel like, like you ever see like it? Go ahead. Go ahead. What's your thought? Like, what would it be? No, it'd be like a a a really um like like imagine like one one guy who comes out with like a concert piano um and and then like every now and then he'll he'll have like timpanis <laughs> who comes in the background but like you know for the most part it's just <laughs> him playing classical i just I, I, I imagine like i, 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 I love like synthesizer, like synthesizer electronic music but like this one guy that just comes out with a synth and he's like just swelling, swelling like one, one note for like 20, 20 minutes you know, you know? <laughs> like just <laughs> messing with all the different like, like shapes and things so it's just like like and he's just doing that for 20 minutes and then like after, After that, that, like he hits, hits one, one note, and people are just like, like "Oh my goodness, this is, oh my. <laughs> this is insane!" <laughs> you know, you know like, like that's kind of how the movie, movie feels because it's just like, like we're getting there eventually, eventually and, and then something, something happens, happens and yeah. yeah. Um, so the so the, uh, the, next the next film, film that really kind of off put me in a way was Mean Streets. This this film I think is actually. A better, a better spastic, spastic and, and crazy, crazy version, version of breathless, breathless. again, again very gorilla um more I, I, obviously it's scorsese, scorsese so there's there's, there's it's, it's, it's a little, little bit more modern than breathless, than breathless. I'm, pretty I'm pretty sure, sure it has color, has color too, too which, which is nice, nice. um yeah this, yeah, this movie, movie like i just, I just didn't really, really again, again it was just kind of crazy and all over the place and as a, As a viewer, viewer I, was I was like, like I don't really, really I, don't I don't understand, understand this too, too much. much. But again, again like, like there, there is something, something kind of appealing, appealing about that, that the, the, the wildness. And, and I, look I look back, back on, on it with probably, probably more, more positive, positive thoughts than I had initially watching it. it. But I, it, it's, it's still like, like for me, that disconnect was just the... The, 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 it, it feels, feels like, like rough, rough around the edges, the edges. and, and I, think I think a lot of film appreciators are like, this is like what brings this movie a lot of charm, right? It's, it's rough around the edges, and 
you can, you can just see, see how much heart they were pushing to make this movie like like, like, like hit the finish line. line. And, for and for me, me I'm like, boy, they barely. It seems, it seems like they barely, barely put this thing together, together you know. Like, like uh, so, so it's. I I I don't have a lot of negative things to say about it. I just it didn't resonate with me because it was so rough. If that if that kind of Make, yeah. Make sense. Well, yeah. I mean, for me, that's one of the things that I really like about it is it's kind of Scorsese at, at his first attempt at at being Scorsese in a lot of ways. Um, and and I think I think there's um, it's possible that we just watched it out of order in terms of maybe you'd appreciate it if we had watched other Scorsese movies mm. uh, before. And then, you know, I, I don't know. I fell in love with this movie because it was one that I, that I, I saw had so much like heart and um, authenticity to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot that I think is um, true about the movie in terms of its, uh, uh, you know, there's, like it's it's talking a lot about sort of camaraderie and um being in this uh situation where you're you're sort of it's like a, there's a cyclical nature to to the the actions that these characters you know do and um you know there's something that I that I really appreciate about this movie in terms of um like I said it being sort of the first example of um sort of Scorsese stretching his wings and and getting out there as as a genuine filmmaker and as someone who you could see has so much talent and at that time didn't have necessarily the the money or the the you know the the the, the capability to make something um great but he he really did his best with what he had you know and i think i think it comes across um i like how you you mentioned breathless though because this is a movie that is obviously heavily inspired by breathless um i think you know there's there's so much about this movie that <laughs> is like breathless but better you know yeah breathless <laughs> like, in new york yeah yeah um but is just a better it's just a better movie like it's more more character driven more interesting um you feel the, the there's i guess like you feel the certain um like i don't know the characters are people that you care about even though they do bad things and make poor decisions um yeah, I yeah I would for say, me i would say, I would say the, the movie is more memorable than than, than, than breathless. breathless like there's it's i could, I could name, name more scenes, scenes in it and, and uh, the, the 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 scene in the, in the the bar, the bar where like the camera's camera strapped, strapped to, to um, that, that guy, guy from National, National Treasure, Treasure, right? What's his? Isn't, isn't that Harvey <laughs> Keitel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, 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 like he has, he has a camera, camera strapped to him, and, and it's, it's like, like that cool, cool like GoPro, GoPro shot, shot whatever. and whatever. Like that is, it. It's probably, probably one of the earliest films, films that I've seen do something like that. Yeah. And now that kind of shot is constantly called back to in in all forms of media. So, so, yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't have much, much more else to say besides, like, like it, it, it has that roughness, and, and I, think I think that, that can be a disconnect, but I don't think it, I don't think it's so, so far unreachable. unreachable. You know, I, don't I, don't I don't think it's like super unreachable for the, the modern viewer. viewer. Now, now, yeah, this, this next, next movie, movie I'm thinking of ending things. things. This, this film, <laughs> this film feels like one of the most unapproachable movies I've watched as as a as a film. Or, or, or as someone, someone exploring movies that, that doesn't, doesn't really, really understand, understand a lot about it. It, it mixes, mixes um, a, lot a lot of boring dialogue. dialogue. Like, like the, 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 there, there's, there's what there's a pet peeve I have with some of these these movies, and I and I haven't introduced this, this. but it's, it's almost like an unearned drama, or like, or like there's just like this heavy emphasis on like. We're, we're gonna, gonna just talk, talk about things, things that are so, so like important, important. and it, it's like <laughs> it's like just I'm like, I'm like what, what is happening, happening right, right now? now? Like there's, there's it 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 doesn't it is, it is just it's so, so on the nose, nose and it, it comes across like, like almost like offensive or obnoxious or, or something like that. <laughs> like like the be- I can see obnoxious for sure. Yeah, yeah the, the beginning, <laughs> the, the beginning conversation in this movie where they're, they're just sitting in the car for like 20 minutes, I was like livid. I was, I was actually like, like so frustrated. frustrated. They just, they just sit in a car and talk. 
and it's, it's not, not about anything, anything it, it, it like, like it, it's, it's almost, almost like, like I want to disrespect your time as a viewer, viewer right? right? Like, like I, I want, want to make you feel bored, bored out of your mind. mind. And, and I'm just like, I, I, I could not, I could, I could not, not hate, hate this more, more right? right? Where, 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 where I began to like find interest, interest but, but also, also uh, but also like disconnect, right? right? Is, is there are, th th there's, there's this weird scene, scene uh, that, that is almost, almost like Kojima-esque Kojima with the house, right? right? And, I and I think that's, that's where this movie begins to come together, together in a positive way, way right? right? There, there's like this mystical house that, has, has no, no sense, sense of time and things are changing, changing and, and kind of going crazy, crazy but, but there's also like a disturbing uh, feeling to it that I think can be disconnecting as an audience, as an audience. But, there's, but there's there's also a mystery that draws you in. in. And, I'm and I'm just so confused because I'm like, why, why did you spend the first 20, 30 minutes of this movie pissing me off, off? and then, then show me something that's also kind of neat and I would rather have seen the whole movie be based on, right? Yeah. And then it devolves into... More, more, I think, I think there's, there's more, more car conversations, conversations after, after the house, house right? right? Yes. And, and yeah. then this, this extremely, like, ob obnoxious, obnoxious film, like, 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 glor like glorified. You don't like the dance scene? <laughs> it is just, it's <laughs> so <laughs> annoying. Like, like, you have, it's, 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 it's just a roller coaster of, of, of frustration, frustration for me, this, this movie. movie. Because, because it starts, starts with pissing you off because it's so slow and boring. It shows you something mysterious, almost like, like, like with elements, elements of horror, horror that's, that's, that's really effective, effective right? right? And, and, and there's this exciting, like, mystery of, like, what is time and, and, and it's not making sense. Then it's back to boredom. It's, it's like, like, oh, you thought you liked that? that? Well, we're, we're going to go back, back to the thing, thing that you hate, you know? You know? And, and then <laughs> and then it it, it just, it's, it's like, like, oh, we're, we're going to go to this other location that begins to tap into things about the house that I like. Right? right, like, like there's, there's mystery, like I don't know, like, like things, things are changing, changing with time and, and all this, and, and then, then it breaks out into like a full musical dance thing in <laughs> high school, and at, and at that, that point, point I just like I threw up my hands. hands. I was like, this, this movie, movie wa like wants me to hate it, it. you know? You know? Like, it is, I think that's probably true. Yeah, <laughs> it's aiming to upset me, you know? And I'm like, that's just like that's like being like, oh. What's, What's up, up, people? people? We're Metallica. Metallica. And, then and then they throw, throw flashbangs into the crowd or something. Or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, it's like, like why? why? Like, why, why are, are you doing, doing this, this, you know? Um, um, yeah. No, I, I think this is a movie where I literally, I watched it, um, and I, um, I think I liked it the second time better than the first time, but I even thought it was, like, pretty, it was a lot, you know? It was a, it was a serious... Um, I don't know. I think I showed you it because I was like, this is funny. This is, he's going to hate this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but it kind of doesn't really care about you, <laughs> which, which, you know, you, you have to appreciate a little bit that Kaufman got a movie on Netflix, which is like, you know, the number one subscribed, um, you know, film tv service ever and uh and he was basically just like yeah i'm gonna make a weird movie so um have fun you know <laughs> like i'm sure like i don't know like there's a there's a definitely a charm to that of being like yeah i don't really care about uh you know making a movie for you guys um i'm gonna do one for me um, and I think Kaufman has always been like that. He's he's always someone like, you know, if we're going back to our concert example, he's yeah. he's like, um, I don't know, maybe like Tool or something where. Yeah. Yes. Where, oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. What, what a comparison, comparison. <laughs> <laughs> where, you know, uh, the people who love him, love him. Um, and they they're like, oh, yeah, but like he's so different, you know, and and you're kind of like you you listen, and you're like. Okay, like it's good, but you know, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like there's a lot of hype. Um but but Kaufman is yeah, he's kind of just like What is, what is Kaufman's, Kaufman's Lateralis, Lateralis album? album? That's, That's what, what I, I want to know. Um I really liked Adaptation. Um I think that's a that's a good movie. Um I don't know. I I'm not sure. Um but 
yeah, I, I'd I'd be interested in doing like a maybe a deeper dive into into his movies. I mean, he wrote Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind, which we haven't watched yet, but yeah. um, is is one of my favorite movies. Um, so I I don't know. I think I think honestly, I think Kaufman works best when he's like being balanced out by someone who, um, <laughs> who is like talented. <laughs> Yeah. yeah um as a director so you know i don't know it's it, it's it's tough but he um yeah that that movie is weird and and i understand why most people did not like it um it's it's not real it's probably not for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't that's like a it good, that's a good <laughs> imagine, imagine that, that was the subtext, subtext. i'm thinking, thinking of ending, ending things. things it's, it's probably, probably not, not for you, you. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's it's, it's, it's like, like those people, people it's, it's like, like I've, always I've always been confused, confused uh with like, like metal, metal music concerts where they're like, like oh like, like there's a mosh pit, pit and like usually, usually people get so injured, injured and, some and some people even die and I'm like what? Like, like why, why would I, I ever, ever want to go to something, something like that? that? You know, like <laughs> that just uh, yeah. or like oh the wall of death like we're going to like smash people into each other and I'm just like this is uh Nah, yeah, this ain't, ain't it, it. You know, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. that. Um, is, yeah. is there a well, booth? It's, it's it's probably not for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, we're gonna talk about Monica Mana. Mana. Uh, this movie has, has a very sterile boredom. boredom. It, again, again, I compared, I compared this to like a National, National Geographic like YouTube, YouTube video. That's really that's, that's really, really, that's really kind, kind of what it feels like. like. I'm not even offended by its boredom. I'm just like like if it just feels. I mean, I mean it, it is, is technically, technically a documentary, documentary right? right? Uh yeah. So, so sort of. I don't know, I don't know like already, already it's it's, it's trying, trying to warn, warn me where it's, where it's like, like oh it's a documentary so, so it's going to be boring, boring you, know? you know. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen a lot of documentaries that are like exciting, exciting. Probably, like probably like Tiger King on Netflix but again that also feels like reality TV so I don't even know. Um it it's just it's, it's just, just I don't know. You, you, it's, it's, it's it is what it is. You watch, watch people, people sit in a gondola. gondola. Like it's, like it's super. <laughs> it's super boring. Like it's super boring. But it's almost like, it, like it, it's just. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like I'm not even mad about, about it. it. I'm like it. it at least it like. It really full sends that full like two hour or one and a half hour time period. It's just we're gonna be in a gondola. You know, it's you're basically a security camera. Um, it's. Yeah. yeah, I it's I I find the the reviews like the IMDb reviews of this movie really funny. Oh. Um, just because there's like there's people who are like ten out of ten. This was an amazing experience, and then there's one it's like, as in Nepali, I don't know what about this cable car ride was so exceptional that it needed a movie, <laughs> <laughs> which is which is like the most accurate description of of this movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I sh I obviously showed you this because. Uh, um, partially as a joke, I guess, but um, partially because it's another one of these movies where I, I watched, I, ha I had to watch in class, and I was like, why? And then at the same time, it kind of reset my base level for things that I um, that I didn't like or that I hated. You know what I mean? Like it reset um, every every other movie that I'm like. Oh, it was pretty boring, but at least it wasn't Monica Mana. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? There's like, literally, like, like, there's like, there's actually, actually a scene, a scene in, in this film where, where there's, there's just goats in, in the cable car for, for probably, what, what, like 10, 10 15 minutes? minutes? You, just you just watch, watch goats, goats ride, ride the, the car. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's 10 minutes. Yeah. That, 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 that was, was the moment, moment where I was like, I am going to press the fast forward button, which Juzo thinks is an unforgivable sin. But I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm in it to watch it for myself. You know, I don't, I didn't fast forward any other movie. And I was like, Skipping, skipping the, the that, that 10 minutes, minutes you know kind of just, just skipping, skipping through it i didn't, I didn't do, do like a full skip, skip you know i was like okay 30, 30 seconds still, still goats you know no, not nothing there's, there's nothing happening, happening. <laughs> I, was I was waiting for like a, a you know some, some jet, jet to like crash, crash into the cable car lines, lines. I, started I started just making up storylines in my head like when is something crazy traumatic gonna happen like just the car falls or something i can't believe we talked about that movie for an hour yeah yeah so it's probably more interesting than watching it yourself Pro yeah, probably. Yeah, it's so it's so bad. I I hate that movie. <laughs> you, probably you probably hate it more than I, than I do, do honestly. honestly. Yeah, I, d I probably do, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I didn't skip it, but you know. yeah. Well, well learn, learn to skip, to skip dude. dude. My life gets a lot better. <laughs> uh, the, the piano, piano is up next. next. This, this is, is 
the worst airport, airport book you've, you've ever seen. seen. Like, like just, just a garbage, garbage romance novel. novel. Yeah, it's really bad. This, this falls, falls into, into like, like you, could you could also you could mix, mix it between, between like, like boredom and like like dis- disturbing. disturbing. <laughs> um, really, for me, it's like it, it's, it's kind of back, back to that, that um, like like like, like just, just sort of with Gone with, with the Wind as well. well. Uh, where, it's where it's just like, like this heavy drama that, that I just could not care about at all. At all. Like, it's just, just, just a stupid Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean skin, skin like thing, thing where, where there's like, like oh, there's, there's two, two love, love interests, interests and, and there's, there's one, one woman who's just, just wow, she's, she's really struggling to figure out which guy she likes or something. And I don't know. I just think this might be the I think this might be the worst movie we've watched. I agree. I agree, actually. Uh, a lot of, and the reason why I say that, I guess, is because I, I can't understand why anybody thinks this movie is good. (laughs) I literally can't. Yeah. Yeah. And people do like, people are like, oh man, the piano, like, it's so sad. It's so powerful. She, she's, she's stripped away of her, of, of her talking, you know, and, and, and it's like, you're just like oh gosh it's so bad and and it's like it's like the most sexist movie in the world oh my goodness <laughs> yeah it's terrible and and everybody's like oh yes what a feminist movie you know and you're like wait what <laughs> like how honestly I, like, I hate this movie so much i don't know, I don't know why, why i'm thinking, thinking of this but you'll have, have more enjoyment, enjoyment out of like, like the first Hunger Games movie, movie than you will, will this, this this film. film. You know, I, yeah, don't I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm thinking, thinking of that, but I'm like, you want to see like a feminist, a feminist movie. movie? I was just, I was just thinking about how like the, the, the tongue, tongue gets cut out, out right? Is Isn't that what it is? is? Um, no, her uh, that was finger her finger gets cut off. Oh, oh, that that's what happens in in um Hunger Games is some people get their tongues cut out. I don't yeah, I don't know why I remember that. Um, she doesn't, she doesn't speak, speak because, because her finger gets cut off. No, 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 no. She doesn't speak because she's a mute. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't even remember <laughs> that. <laughs> she just doesn't speak. That's, okay, that's, all right. That's well. the thing. She just doesn't speak. Um, she speaks with the piano. You know, that's her. That's her expression. Um, but all these, you know, all this, the the, the men in her life are wearing her down. I, I have more, more emotion, emotion but she, of, about, about, but she goes and and runs away with her abuser, literally a uh, rapist. <laughs> I, I have this more. Is I, crazy. I have, I have more sympathy, sympathy for, for like Link, Link from Legend, Legend of Zelda, Zelda who, who never says a word than uh, <laughs> this character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gar- garbage. Ish. Absolutely, Absolutely yeah, garbage. bad. It's it's a really bad movie. Don't watch it. And if anybody's kind of interested, just just know it's terrible. You, you really, really should, should watch, watch almost any other movie. <laughs> um, you, you, you should, should rather watch, watch like Monica, Monica Mana. I think, I think it, it would be more, more exciting to watch, to watch Monica Mana. Mana. Yeah, probably. Yeah. The next, the next film, film I have on here is Eraserhead. Man. Man. This, this movie, movie, I don't, I don't even know. know like, this is this is one of the first films I think I've watched where I'm like, I don't think this movie ever needed to be made. Um, it really disturbed me, and I just. Don't, don't like, like it, it at, at all. all. I really, I really like, like it's, it's just gross. gross. Like, like I, I and, it's and it's not saying anything. Like, like it, it's, it's just it it, it, makes, it makes the world, world worse. worse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put it, it that way. way. <laughs> um, I totally disagree with that. But so, so I just <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Like I I don't really think that this movie is super approachable unless you're I don't know like very. I I, 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 I just, just don't, don't I don't know why, why. I, don't, I don't I don't I don't really, really know why somebody would, would even, even say they, they like this film too much. I I love this movie. I think it's great. Well, well tell <laughs> us, Cameron. Tell, tell us about, about it. Because just, just as a casual, casual I was like, like absolutely not. not. Like, like I just, I just I don't I'm not, I'm not in this at all. I don't know. I'm not sure. I have a. I think I have just a disturbing mind. Um, so it it appeals to me in that sense. Um. I I also like a lot of movies that are that are very um, weird and disturbing. Uh, so, you know, I I understand why most people would be like, yeah, no, no, thanks, not for me. Um, but at the same time, it's I I don't know. I think it's I think it's really well made, first of all, and um, I I don't think it 
says nothing. Um, oh, you, no, you no, no, no. Disagree. I don't, I don't think, think it's. I don't think that it says nothing. I just don't think it says something that is, is like super, super valuable. If that, if that makes sense. sense. I, I, don't I don't know if I agree with the, the, the stance of this film, film. And, that and that doesn't mean that, that like, like somebody's, somebody's perspective shouldn't be shared, shared. but I, 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 I just don't think, think it really, it doesn't, it doesn't add, add a lot with, with what it's saying. saying. You, know you know what I mean? mean? If, from, if, from, if, if I remember, I remember correctly, correctly, there's a, there's a pretty, pretty big emphasis on the horror of childbirth. Is that right? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, partially. And, and I, guess I guess maybe, maybe the, the strain, strain of, you know, you know taking, taking on something, something like that. that. Uh, it's, I just, I, just, I, don't, know. I don't know, like, I, 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 think I think there was, there was a huge part of kind of my own, own perspective, perspective that disagreed, disagreed a lot with, 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 with this movie. movie. And I, and I guess, guess people, people are allowed, are allowed to, to, to disagree, disagree, but it was, it was even, even like just the way it was presented as well. That I was like, not only is it disconnecting me because it's just gross, gross you know, you know? <laughs> but it's <laughs> also like saying things that I'm very against, against I think. And, and that, that, that just left me in a place where I was like, I don't, I can't support this film. I don't think a lot of people can sit through this and really like... Also, also, I think, I think even, even if you're trying to analyze, analyze it, you're going to be so distracted, distracted from all the disturbing like imagery and, and like, like the, the other thing is like this movie isn't isn't, isn't like, like I, do you know what it's rated? rated? Like, like it's, it's not super. Um, I don't know if it ever was rated. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, not very like, like there, there's, there's nothing, nothing like super graphic in it or anything like that. There, it's it's just like. I think, I think the best, the best way I can compare, I've been rewa- I rewatched uh, parts, parts of Alien, and one, and one of the things about that movie is that there's something sensorial or like to your gut level where you're like, this is not right. It's, it's disturbing. disturbing. You know, like the alien, the way that the alien ship is like wet and veiny and not right. You know, you're like, I'm just, I'm disturbed by this alien. He is horrific, right? It's gross. You're like, I don't, like, there's something about the xenomorph design that is, it is, it is. Something, something to be feared, feared like deep, deep in your soul. soul. You, know you know what I mean? mean? And, I, and I think that this movie has that as well. well. Like there's something to be feared, feared that's like yeah, deep, deep in your soul. soul. And then the commentary around the movie, the movie it's just like, like what a negative, negative like, like I, don't know, I don't know. I just, it, it yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, I think the thing that frustrates me about this movie in particular is that. I have such, such a strong dislike for it, for it and, and it almost makes the people who love it be like, yes, yes that's, that's what it's all about. about. Like, you're so offended. offended. That's, that's so good. good. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> no, like, you're, that's, that's, that's like, that's, that's not something to be proud of, you know? You know? That's, that's something that, like, that, like, like I spite. Like, I, 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 like, I, this is, this is, like, the piano is, like, just horrible. This is a movie that I, like, I personally, I personally hate, you know, you know? like, like yeah, I, I, you know, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think people, people should watch it. it. I, don't I don't think it's something that really needed to be made at all. all. So, so, I mean, I, mean, yeah, I guess if, if, if you're really into, into like the film stuff, stuff and you're like, Ooh, like, like that's ground that's supposed to be untouched, you know, or, or like they're, they're really breaking the boundaries, you know, I'm like, good for you, you know, good for you that you're so excited about that. But I just don't, I really, I don't know. This, this, I, 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 despise I despise this movie. movie so. so yeah, well, I mean, I understand that. Like, yeah, you you had a you had a very negative reaction <laughs> on viewing. Um, I love this movie. I think it's great, but uh, I mean, I I can see it's not for it again. It's it's in the same vein of I'm thinking of ending things. It's probably not for you. You know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. There's yeah. So that I I I wholeheartedly disagree with with your take here but um but yeah you know i think i think you, you just had like a, a visceral reaction to it um which is fair you know like that's that happens to movies for sure i mean that 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 happens to me as well but um there's, there's major, major kudos, kudos to like, to like how, how uncomfortable, uncomfortable 
the film, the film makes, makes you. you. I mean, I mean like, like when we were, watching, I think we did a commentary track, track on it, right? Cameron? We did, yeah. And, and you were, there was like, like certain scenes where, where like, like they walked, walked into the house and there was like, um, like, like the dinner scene. scene. You're, You're like, like, isn't this just so like wrong on so many levels? And I was like, yeah, it's like unbelievably like just there's 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 like literally, literally, literally nothing. nothing I, I, don't I don't know. Like, like if you wrote it out on paper, paper there's nothing that's like that's like that's a bad rating. Or there's like there's just something that's like the alien xenomorph. That's the best way I could describe it. Where it's like things are abstracted and they're. They're not, they're not sitting, sitting right. right. And I'm like, this is just, I don't, I don't know, know. Who, who could, could make, make this movie. movie. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Well, like, it's like, I, it reminds me of like surrealist paintings. You know? Exactly. They take, yeah. Yeah. they take something that is, un, you understand, or that is, um, you know, uh, familiar to you and then distorts it in a way that makes it really strange and uncomfortable. Um, which I think is the, the, what's good about the movie, but I can understand how someone could say like, ew, that, that's not good. That's, that's disturbing because it is. I mean, it is disturbing. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a disturbing movie. But in any case, um, I do you have one more? Right. The last, the last one I have is four, four the four hundred blows or four hundred blows, blows, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, this, this movie reminded, reminded me of, of the book Kite Runner. Runner. Very, Very um, like, like coming, coming of age with traumatic, traumatic upbringing or dramatic upbringing. upbringing. Um, it's a it's very, very personal. personal Story. story. There's, There's obviously, obviously a little bit of a language barrier because it's a French film. Um, it's, it's very focused on like the individual's journey. journey. I just this this movie like didn't connect with me, and I don't know if it will connect with a lot of people. It, it again is kind of treading that ground of like very. Very, very like, like drama heavy. heavy. Um, like, it's, it's, it's not the same. Si- I'm, I'm not comparing it to the movie, The Piano, piano but The Piano has like, like this, this is drama you should care about. about. And, 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 and I kind of thought that The 400 Blows was doing the same, the same thing, thing where I was like, this is drama you should care about. about. Um, there, there are relatable, relatable elements of the child, like, you know, kind of fighting with his parents and and being in the midst of a broken household, right? That I think are effective but it just, it just didn't, didn't grab me, me. And, 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 and 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 this this, this is, is like obviously, obviously i think a racer head would have been a better way to close the conversation, the conversation but as, as i was looking through um the films, the films i wanted to put this on the list, on the list. Not, not as, as like a terrible movie, movie but just another one that was like as a, as a casual viewer, viewer it disconnected, disconnected me because the drama just didn't resonate i do, I do think, think some, some people could really connect with this movie but there are a lot of like for me, For me, it's, it's like, like black, black and white. white. It's in a different language, language. and it's it's, it's a, lot a lot of drama that you could, you could easily, easily be disconnected from because of because, because of its assembly. assembly I, think. I think. Yeah, I I would say this movie I actually really liked a lot more than um, Breathless, obviously, uh, and I think it's prob it probably suffers from the same situation where uh, like The Godfather and uh, Citizen Kane where. It's it's one that maybe needs revisiting um, in terms of, f- of fully appreciating it, I guess. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, and and for me, you know, it was it, it was um, I don't know. It was one that I that I actually really appreciate. Um, and I I like I like a lot of the themes. Um, I think it's it's got an interesting ending. I really I actually really like the ending. Um but I can see why. Uh, well, also, you know, the other thing that I really like is is that there's like such a love of of Paris and such a love of of, of France that you can see like palpably. Um, where in in Godard movies, I feel like he has like a disdain for a lot of these things, um, and I could feel that there's like a nostalgia to to the movie. There's yeah. like yeah. a um, a lovely um you know reflection of of what the you know of, of what he he loves um and to me that i like that i i think that comes across um but i i can see why it it it's not like <laughs> up there for you you know it doesn't you know i i wouldn't say it's up there for me either but um you know i i think it's i think it's pretty good mm-hmm. um I would throw in there. I know you didn't watch it, but I would throw in there. Sympathy for the Devil. Terrible movie. It's so bad. Uh, Godard, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Um, but 
Yeah, I, I mean, I yeah, you didn't watch it, so. No, no, that, that one you, you did with Juzo. With Juzo so, yeah. So. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I think, I think that's that's, uh, that's, kind, that's of kind of a good retrospective, retrospective walking through, through the films, films that didn't, didn't connect with me. I would say that really the big the big stuff. And the big conversation around like the audience, the audience experience versus, versus the creator's experience, or the creator's, or the creator's like, like uh, vision to create for himself or for the audience. Like the, that's that's, that's, that's the, the tension, tension, right? And, and as, as we as we compare it to the concert scene, scene. For, for me, like, like the, the thing that continually comes up is like either like a, like a boredom, uh, sort of blocker is probably the best way of putting it. Like there's 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 these movies that just, just waste, waste your time, your time in, a, in a lot of ways. Uh, uh, then, there's then there's like the non-traditional uh, piece, piece together, like, like kind of crazy wild, wild project that, that as I've watched more movies, it seems like I've become more fond of, um, you, know, you know, accepting those because they don't have a ton of budget or anything like, like that, that, right? That, 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 that it, can it can be disconnecting, but it can also be appreciated. I can understand how some people find appreciation. I think the modern audience viewer is like... I don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I think I think, uh, I think, I think of like seeing a, 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 a local band, band that's like kind of bad, but they're, but they're really trying, trying, you know, and, and they, they kind of just have a, a small touch of, of something like, like it's, it's you, can you can be sympathetic, sympathetic to it even. But I, but, I, but, I, but I think you have to be kind of ready to to, to embrace that. that. Yeah. Um, so. so and sometimes it works in the in the other way where you you want to go back and and watch after you've you've sort of studied the director after you've watched you know um some of his stuff you want to go back and watch where he has come from and sort of the inspirations um you know in his in his early um in his earlier days yeah so, yeah i, I, I know for me personally like i love this, this punk, punk band called blink 182 they're they're, they're really, really obnoxious, obnoxious. um but, but they play, they play on, on huge stages now, and to, and to watch, watch like old videos from the '90s when they're playing on like these tiny backyard shows and things like that. It's like, wow! Like, I wish I, wish I could like, like I got to see that. that. I wish I could have gone back to, to that, that time where they didn't, they didn't even know that they were going to find any level of success, success right? right? Yeah, um, that, that 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 can be a relatable experience. I think you really have to be invested in the creator for for those movies to work for you. And as a casual, I didn't know the creators of some of the movies that these like didn't connect with um but like, but like i think you know, you know no, no, knowing what i know about scorsese, scorsese and, watching and watching mean streets now, now there, there might be a little, little bit of that uh sympathy, sympathy right right and then, and then the, the, the last blogger for me was like this unearned drama like, like this heady boring, boring like uh it kind of goes with boredom uh drama, drama or like i don't know just dis- disturbing disgustingness drama i it's I can't, I can't quite, quite put my my, my finger, finger on on, on how, how to categorize so, some, some of these some of these, of these movies because they are things just that off put you right um, like in a in just a gut level yeah yeah so, so it's it's been it's been, it's been an interesting, interesting journey, Cameron. Cameron. I'm, sure I'm sure we're gonna explore, explore even even more uh, uh, <laughs> films that, that disconnect the the audience members, members. But, but I always find it surprising that. Some, some like, like some, some filmmakers can find that balance of like serving, serving themselves in, in, in their creativity. They they they, they have, have elements of you know the raw or, or the boring or the, or the disgusting or the drama stuff. stuff. Like, like drama for me, uh, and, and, and and I know that that's, that's kind of a very broad, broad term, term, but like we we talk about. about uh, uh, we were talking about, and, and, and this movie, this episode is going long, so I'll, I'll wrap it up, be real quick. But like, the dramatic payoff, like at the end of the good, the bad, and the ugly, like that movie's drama at the end is like on like eleven, you know, like it's just going off the charts in terms. Of, there's like this creative style, you know, things have been building up towards it. The movie is long, you know, like. I just, I just well, I would like, say I would say it, for you, even Casablanca is one that you love, um, you know, and that's that movie is entirely drama. Yes, you know, yes, there, yes. there's there's nothing but drama in that movie. So, so for, for me, me, it's like, like what? Why, why does like Casablanca work, and then, and then Gone, Gone with, with the Wind doesn't? doesn't. You, know you know what I mean? Like, like those, those are both, both old, old movies. movies. And for, and for some, some reason, reason, I'm so much more invested in Casablanca, Casablanca as a watcher than 
Gone, gone with, with the Wind, wind where I'm like, I just, I just don't, don't care, care about, about this drama, drama you, know? you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so there is, there's, 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 there's got to be something that, that the filmmakers of, of Casablanca know, know that the filmmakers, the filmmakers forgot, forgot about in Gone, gone with the Wind. Wind. Um, so, so anyways, anyways, I'm, I'm sure, sure the conversation will continue. This experiment has been really fun, Cameron, to do this show. I know we focused on the negative, but I hope that our kind of exploration of the the, the, the audience, audience experience and the filmmaker experience, experience has been fun for you guys to listen to for the last hour. hour. Any, Any closing, closing comments, comments, Cameron? Um, no, I mean, I yeah, I think this was a good kind of um, interesting conversation about sort of what movies um, do to disconnect you as a as a viewer. Um, I I I I'm not sure that we necessarily clarified anything because I think I think sometimes it's just a feeling thing, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. sometimes it's just it's just I just didn't like it. I just you know uh, was disconnected from it. And obviously, you know, our our role as commentators on movies is to is to elaborate on what what that feeling is, elaborate on on why things um, didn't connect with with you, um, but. You know, at the same time, sometimes it it just is, um, is it is what it is. You know, sometimes it it just doesn't doesn't hit you at that moment. Um, so, yeah, I I mean, I think I think we we definitely will watch more um strange and esoteric movies for sure. Um, but probably not yet. Uh, I'll I'll, I'll just say that yeah, we, I've got some plans that are um n- not not super weird. I I'd like to, I'd like to do maybe like an experimental month, um, at some point in the future, but, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, um, I think we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get into some weirder movies for sure. Um, that are much less explainable (laughs) on why you like or dislike it, you know? Um, well, well, I'm I'm here here for the journey. journey. I'm excited excited for it, Cameron. Cameron. All right. All right. I think, I think that, that uh, pretty much wraps, wraps it up. It up. Sorry, Sorry if we were a little slow on our words. It is early in the morning. We don't usually record in the morning. Cameron, I appreciate you putting together uh, the show. I'm excited for where it's going. The rest of the month, I don't know what we're what we're really going to be doing. Um, maybe we'll get into some movies, uh, but we have been sort of being reflective on 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 the first year. So, Cameron, any any notes on uh, what the next two weeks are going to look like in August? Yeah, well, I mean, I kind of th- was thinking maybe you should take the the driver's seat for the next Ooh. couple of weeks. Um, show me some movies that you know. I, I of course we probably we might have seen, um, or you know, movies that you love uh, that y- you'd like to share. Um, you know, I think that would be fun. Uh, do a little r- role reversal here. I'll, t- uh, I'll tell you what. what. I'll tell, I'll tell you, you what. what. I think, I think after, after this conversation, conversation and the conversation about the movies that, that have resonated for us, right? right? Like, like, I want to show you in my like, like in my mind like what I think, think sort, sort of a perfect balance between, between all, all, all these, these things, things are. are. So, so for, for the next two, two weeks, I'm going to show you two, two films, films. and, and the. the uh, I, you know, you know, I have, I have a very, very limited, limited knowledge, knowledge right? right? This, this is a this is a a, uh, a beginner trying to impress like someone that's a master, but we'll almost consider this a test for me, for me right? Uh, to, uh, to be like, like Cameron, this is what, and, and, I, and I'm gonna pick movies you haven't seen, seen. and okay. I'm gonna be like, this is a movie that I think captures a lot of. It, it does what we've been saying a great movie does, and it also does what, it and it does like. Some, some of, it, 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 tackles it tackles some of these things, things we've been talking about, about the boredom, the, the, the grossness, the, you know, spastic, spastic or confusing. Like it captures some of these things in a way that uh, is extremely effective and not disengaging. So, so uh, there's, there's one, one movie in, in, in my mind that I think you need to see um, that has had, I've been thinking about a lot. It wasn't one you assigned me. I'm really excited to show you. So we'll probably be watching. What is it called? Think? think? Oh, oh shoot. shoot! I hope you haven't, you haven't seen it. But have you have you seen the Florida Project yet? No, I have not. We, we really. I, that, I, think I think that's what we're gonna watch uh, this, uh, this coming week. week. So, so right. the, the Florida Project. I'm excited to show you. Cool. Um, um, and with that, we wrap up. Uh, we post, post every Monday. Monday. Thank you guys for supporting the show. If you're on Patreon, we didn't really pitch it, but you can support the show at Patreon.com/slash/ECFSProductions and get a bunch of benefits. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next Monday.